What's going on YouTube, it's Scott Hoho here and today I'm gonna to be taking you guys along with me to travel to Minneapolis for a modeling shoot. I feel like modeling is just something that is a side gig for me. It's not something that I'm like actively pursuing to take it full time in any way. It's kind of nice to just have gigs come in here and there and just take a little break from my day to day. That's kind of the update with like my modeling career. It's just not something that I'm like actively pursuing. But today is Monday. We're gonna be in Minneapolis this week. My flight is later this evening and we're gonna be staying there till Thursday. So I got a couple days there. Before we go, I wanted to update you guys on my apartment because I have some questions that I wanna ask you guys of your preferences of how I design the space. So basically, I got this like uh, Noguchi glass table and before I got that table, I had this table. Which one do you guys prefer? I like both, but there's, there's pros and cons of each. Like you could see the rug that it's morphed through the glass. I think that's a pro. I just think it's like a more elevated look. The con is that maybe I might have to get like a new TV stand. I don't know. It looks good in my opinion. And then there's this one. The pro of this is that I think it matches the vibe of everything that I already have. And then the con is that it blocks the rug. So please comment down below which one you prefer because I actually don't know. I'm like really, really torn right now. Furniture shopping is hard enough. Now like picking the right pieces and like actually being confident in them is uh, a little bit tougher. All right, enough about furniture. I did wanna show you guys one thing. I just wanted to make a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Fabletics. Ugh. Look at that. We're gonna open this bad boy and see what this month's drop has included in it. Item number one, puffy bomber jacket. What is it actually called? The Essential Reversible Bomber. How does it look? I want you guys to tell me which actually looks the best. They got me some sweats. These sweats were also part of the drop and this shirt as well. Look how stretchy this is. We got a black puffer jacket. We got the olive green hoodie and olive green puffer vest. This one is mad clean. But wait, there's more to this fit. We got the matching beanie as well. This fits my favorite so far for sure. How do you guys like this month's drop? I feel like they're definitely getting us ready for the fall, for the winter. So these are some nice pieces that I need in my closet for the upcoming months. If you guys like some of the clothes that you saw in this drop, consider checking out the link in the description below. Athletics is actually offering 80% off site-wide if you sign up for the VIP program today. But not only that, if you sign up for the VIP program today, you'll get an introductory offer of these pants for $19. And when I tell you the Dawn pants is the most versatile pants in my closet, I am not lying. Like these pants are stretchy, they're water resistant, they fit perfectly, and over Overall, they're just so versatile and amazing. You also get access to exclusive drops every single month and you get one credit per month up to $100. So check out the link in the description below. And with that, let's go to Minneapolis. Let's go. I like didn't eat all day. So we just arrived in Minneapolis and by just arrived, I mean, we arrived last night and I was just a little bit too lazy to get footage of me landing, coming back to my apartment, all that stuff. But it's interesting. I actually booked an apartment through Sonder and I've never done that before, but Sonder is like this app. You can basically like lease out the apartment for a short term stay. This place low key is super nice. It was like cheaper than all hotel options, but man, like it doesn't even compare to a hotel option because I got a whole apartment to myself. Kind of crazy this morning i actually have a ton of work that i need to do for my clients if you guys didn't know i'm an online fitness coach so every single week i'll update my clients in terms of you know what workouts they have to do update their meal plans that actually takes up a lot of my time and a lot of my days in the beginning of the week but later today around 3 30 p.m we're gonna meet the team we're gonna meet the production today is actually only fitting for me so i'm probably gonna go in just get fitted on some clothes that i'm gonna wear tomorrow for the shoot but yeah let me show you guys an apartment tour real quick so right when you walk in you got your bathroom standing shower of course you continue walking in you have this sliding door to the bedroom amazing continue walking in 
and I have a whole living room to myself, man. How dope. So I'm about to Uber right now to the fitting. Check out this lobby, man. It's pretty sick. And there's even little cubicles and work rooms that you can work in. So if only I knew about that sooner, would have came down and maybe did some work here. We're heading on to the fitting. In different shoots, they allow for you to have your camera out and film the behind the scenes, but some other productions and some other shoots don't allow for that. So we'll see if this team is gonna allow me to have my camera out, but we'll see. All right, so we're here on the set. Unfortunately, it's one of those sets that is closed off. Not allowed to pull out my camera, but we're in the kitchen right now. I haven't eaten all day. So right now, taking a little food break. After the food, I'm gonna munch on one of these cookies, that's for sure. I actually just finished my fitting. Tried on like 10 different outfits. The cool thing about this set is these are the colors that I like the most. Green, brown. Look, people are cheering because it's over. <laughs> they must have done really good today. For fitting day, we try on different outfits and we take a bunch of pictures to send it to the client and they get to approve on the outfits that I wear for tomorrow when the actual shoot happens just been cleared to go we're gonna eat finish up head back to our apartment and we wait for tomorrow but the day's not over it's like 5 p.m i'm about to get a workout in about to get a run in and we'll see where the day takes us we're in a different city so hopefully we get to explore a little bit as well we're getting ready for our long run might skip the workout for today because i just don't have enough time but we're trying to run 10 miles today right after my shoot I was telling one of the production assistants that I was going on a long run tonight just to explore Minneapolis on foot. And she responded, she was like, oh, you should run by the river. And I was like, oh, I was like, what, what's, what's the river called? Like, are we close by it? She said, oh, you should, it's called the Mississippi River. <laughs> I didn't know Mississippi River ran by Minneapolis. So um, I'm gonna check that out. Man, look at how nice the view is. The sun is setting. Oh my gosh. All right, so we've made it to the river. We're about two miles in. Just a slight, slow pace for today's 10 mile run. But look, here, I'll show you guys the river real quick. Never thought I would be at Mississippi River on a Tuesday evening, but here we are. This is my first time running in a different state or just different area a long distance run and man, exploring a city like this on foot is pretty sick. The coolest thing is when you run into other runners on the same trail, same path, it's kind of nice to just have some company. Look at this. Yes, sir. Beautiful. I just ran 10 miles at a nine minute, 34 pace. This is my second week of marathon training. Like if you would have told me I would have ran that much at that pace just two weeks ago, I would not have believed you. But the fact that I can run that much, explore a new city on my feet, run the Mississippi River, dude, that was, Fucking sick. We're about to go inside, stretch out a little bit more, drink some water, I'm fucking thirsty, get some food, and I'll see you guys at dinner.
this morning I was trying to shave, but I forgot my razor. So you can see like, actually maybe you can't see, I don't know. But I got a little bit of scruff on me right now. So I had to text the production coordinator asking if they had a razor for me to use. I'm in Lux, I think hair and makeup team should have one, but how unprofessional me, huh? So we just wrapped up the first half of the shoot and it was pretty cool. They put me in scrubs. I was holding like dentist equipment and this actually looks pretty similar to the shoot that we were getting. Basically I was like standing over a patient, looking into the camera and like I was holding some equipment like this. <laughs> and essentially I was like putting braces on a patient. So I had to like hold some stuff like that. It took one to two hours to get this perfect shot of me doing this. That's how modeling goes, man. You try to get the, the perfect shot for what the client wants. We're doing like the second part of the shoot, the latter half of the shoot after lunch. But we're about to get lunch downstairs. All right, y'all. So we just got back from the shoot. It's been a long freaking day. We had so many fits and so many different photos that we needed to take today. So it literally went from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Really tiring day, long day of shooting, but I have to say it was really, really fun. I feel like this is really only my third or fourth like actual modeling gig. And this was like the first time that I actually felt connected to the cast and connected to the production team and the wardrobe team, hair and makeup. Like everybody was such a good vibe. Look, wardrobe even gave me a shirt. Look how nice this shirt is. Hold up, let me see if I can show you guys. This is like a shirt I would have in my closet and I told her that. I was like, yo, that shirt's sick. Like, I would take this home. She's like, you should just take it. Obviously, <laughs> not with the fit I'm wearing right now, but it actually matched perfectly with the fit that I was wearing today. So she was like, dude, you have to take it. Today, I even learned a lot about, you know, the modeling industry in general. And I even learned that I can have multiple agents in different cities. So I might even like consider applying to like different agencies in different areas. Overall, today was just such a great day. I can't even, it feels like I'm rambling, but the place I'm staying in actually has a gym. So we're about to get a quick work, little workout. Today's our last night here. And tomorrow we got our flight home. So that kind of wraps up the vlog, but quick little workout before we go and head back home. All right, let's check it out. So as I was looking for the gym, went to the 18th floor and look at this, bro. You could see the stadium from up here. And just about 30 minutes ago, there was literally a game going on that you can see. It's like your own little box office. To be honest, I kind of wish I stayed for the game. Just got my little lift in. And then look at this. I even door dashed some food for tonight as well. Ordered some Thai food. I ordered a lot of food, bro. So I don't even know if I can finish this. It's like $80 worth of food right here, man. Catch her eye, we started laughing cause we tripping, yeah. 